What's up? Welcome to Joe's Corner Reef, and this is the tank for Rico's Nano Challenge 2018. This is a model I created in a program called SketchUp. I conceptualized the whole tank, decided where I wanted to put the baffles, where I wanted to put the filter media and the pump. I could have went a lot farther and added a lot more details, but I just wanted a quick idea, kind of placing stuff everywhere. If you're, if you're more interested, I have another video where I go a little farther in, in depth in this program. It's a great program for conceptualizing stuff. So anyway, display area. We're going to have an overflow in the middle. It's going to run the whole width. You'll have your refugium. Water will then come around here, over here, which will have trays in here for filter floss or other types of media. And in the bottom, I'm going to have the wood air stone. Water comes around to the pump and then back into the tank. Just a quick model I made just to lay out these baffles, the size I wanted. So let's get to this. Let's start putting this tank together. So I just took that model data, took dimensions for it, and then I just started cutting this stuff up. You know, if you were to build an aquarium, I think you want to router these edges or sand them to get a better fit. But for the all-in-one, just a table saw, it worked great. Cut right through it. Okay, today we are going to weld some acrylic. I say weld because what we're going to be using is solvent. And this actually doesn't glue the two pieces together. From my understanding, this solvent causes this material to get soft, right? And you press it onto the other piece and it basically welds itself together. I've also made this. I've seen this on Milov's Reef. It's a square. So he puts it on here. This is a little big, I think, from what he had. Just an example. On there, you can glue it, clamp it, right? Let it set and then pull it off and then you should have that piece. It should be square. I've cut up some extra pieces. These are tiny quarter inch pieces. I'm gonna use, so here's an example of a baffle. I'm gonna use it in here, create a little box that's inset so I could put um, filter plates. So I could put filter floss or carbon. I'm gonna put one on the bottom and one at the top. So I create like a little all-in-one shelf system, if you will. Of course, we've got DAP, which I got from Home Depot. This is aquarium safe sealant. I'm going to weld all the acrylic together and then in one piece put it in, seal the whole thing in place. I don't know if it'll work. I've got some blue tape because I'm going to put blue tape on each side of this where I seal it so I can make a nice seam and then before this stuff gets a chance to set up I'm going to pull the tape off so I have a nice clean seam. Okay, right, that's all I have. So let's get to this. How are we going to do this? The applicator. From my understanding, is you want to push the air, then turn it over and use the applicator because if, if you just turn it over, it's just going to want to pour out. So by having the suction drawing it back in, it's going to keep it from just rushing out. So, let's... so even the little trick I had with the bottle, you know, pushing it and having some kind of suction on there to keep the stuff from just flowing out. It kind of worked. I mean, the solvent really came rushing out of the bottle. You had to be very delicate with it. You know, it, it, acrylic's kind of an art, is what I figured. But it did work out pretty good. The, the pin idea didn't work out too well for me either. I used it on this one piece, and then after that, I didn't use those pins anymore. I just put the two pieces of acrylic together and ran the solvent over it. So here I'm making the pump area. And I clamped everything together, got it all to fit. I used this temporary piece in there, and then I just took the solvent and ran it in all the joints. It turned out really well. I've never made one of these all-in-ones before. It turned out really well, square and everything. So there's the finished pump area. 
here all glued together. I'm just gonna glue an extra piece in there to hold the bubbler on the bottom. Just to hold the wooden air stone. Everything was cleaned with alcohol. I rubbed everything down with alcohol before I glued it. That was another thing I did. It turned out really well. I wish I would have sanded and rounded some of the corners. I didn't do that. Um, but I, I went over it later with the Dremel and, and did it then. But I wish I would have did it before I glued everything together. So what we're going to do now is, so we're putting this air stone in here somewhere. It's possible I could be running filter floss or carbon or something up here in this top. Right, and I don't want to put a hole, it's a pain in the butt to put a hole through carbon or through a filter floss or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a small hole in here and then glue in an air tube that comes out so I can attach the airline, bring it up and out. All right, this is just this Lee's eighth inch airline. Just kind of warm it up. You don't have to scorch it. All right, you can see it starting to be pliable and then we just bend it. Just like that. I might shorten it up a little bit and it's going up there. So now what we have to do is glue that heater holder to the filter section and that filter section we got to glue it down to the overflow. So we're just going to clamp it and then just apply some solvent. You'll notice it's hard to see but man does that solvent it really runs out really quickly. It does evaporate on the surface it doesn't leave a lot of staining but it, it does run out pretty quickly. So this is the finished overflow filter section combo unit. So what I'm going to do now, what I'm doing now is I've, I've got the baffle system made for the all-in-one and I'm going to tape off maybe an eighth of an inch on each side so when I caulk it, I can just go there with a tool, do the edge, pull the tape off and I'm done. It might, it's more work but I think it will be cleaner, that's what I'm going to try. It's actually quite a bit more work because i got to pull this out and then do the tape all over this thing too. But done you can see the, the gap there's an eighth inch between here and here and then I try to do an eighth inch all the way around and then I'll do it on the baffle system so I'm ready to ready to silicone I've wiped everything down with alcohol. I've taped off what surfaces I'm trying to avoid to get silicone on. Instead of using my finger, I've got a small tool that I'll stick in there to run the seam. This is DAP All-Purpose all Adhesive. Aquarium Safe, got this from Home Depot. Probably glue. I've got a seam here and a seam here that I, I know I can't get to. I'm gonna glue them place this piece in here and then start doing the seams and after I, after I apply the silicone I've got five minutes to pull that tape off after so let's do this so one of the issues I I guess I had with this was you know I didn't check how level that overflow was when I put it in there and I wish it's close but I wish it would have been a little more level and then that DAP silicone, it just comes in that tube, so as it gets down, it gets hard to squeeze it out. It would have been nicer had it just been in a caulk tube, and I could have used a caulk gun if I would have went with something like that. 
I think you can use GE silicone as long as it doesn't have any mold or mildew inhibitors in it. You can use that GE silicone. But I went with the DAP stuff. It was okay. Um, it's only like four bucks a tube. But it was hard to get it out of that tube. Then I'm just pulling the tape off. Just let it sit and then pull the tape off. So that's it. That is the finished tank. Looks great. I let it sit a couple days before I put water in there. She is all set. Next episode, we'll drill a hole for the return pump. Put some Miracle Mud in there. Fill this sucker up. Oh, I'm also going to build a top with a light out of acrylic. We'll do that. There's a little subsection down there. See the air hose for the air bubbler? Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Rico's Nano Challenge 2018. It's on. Joe's Coral Reef. Welcome. Well, well, welcome. Well, well, well. Jesus, I shouldn't do this when I just first went. Well, come. Welcome. Is my nano tank for the challenge. My nano. This is my. Welcome. No. What's up? Boop. Nano. God. Then, and here comes the snowplow again. Really, we're going to clean? Right now, we're going to clean the snow. Now, wait, we stop. Goes Nano. Oh. I don't know where to start first.